All right. Exit ticket. I got it. Wait. Are there linear? Are linear rays proportional? So. No. So here's the thing. If if you have, I'm gonna wait. So if I have a linear rate that starts from zero, meaning it starts here and there's some sort of line that goes out flat and it's straight, these are all proportional because each rate increase has to be exactly the same. So they're definitely proportional. Each step is the same. So it's proportional. Okay? This could be, you know, 50 cent change. This could be a $2 change, and this is even more, $3 change. But every step is proportional. But if I start at 4 and I have a linear line, is this proportional? No. It is starting from here, but overall, because I'm starting at 4, the first step is 4, and then every step after is 50 cents because like you see how it's the same step as this so it is not proportional because my first step is four it's proportional from there on but because my first step is at four it's not quite proportional a linear are linear race proportional yes if they start from zero so they are proportional But if they're starting not from zero, that means that my first step is not proportional. Okay, now here's the, the, the next piece of this exit ticket talks about D equals 2 times T. This is kind of a lot like what we dealt with today. The, is this going to be, am I starting at zero in this equation? Yeah. If I put zero in for time, what do I get for D? Two. Zero. Zero. <laughs> because two times two times zero is zero. So I am starting at zero zero. So this is going to be a proportional linear rate. What is my change here? What am I changing by? Two. Two. So that goes back to our learning target, which is, what's the pattern? It's a pattern of two. So if I was to chart this, someone tell me a time that I have up here. One second. One second. What's one times two? Two. 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 So I go to one, go to two, which is halfway there, boom. There's one point. You have to do four points. And if I put zero in, Tristan, what's two times zero? Zero. So I get a zero here, a zero there. There's my, I got two points now on my graph. You need four points. I, what I do is I just take a time, I put it in, I get a distance. Right? 